Welcome back everybody. In this episode I'll be showing you how you can make the cats from the last episode attack you when they get close enough. Um, and obviously this can make a really cool effect like uh, enemies or zombies or something chasing you down and attacking you. Um, so yeah, we'll get straight into it. So first of all we'll be starting with the cats from the last episode. Um, they follow you and they uh, they just work by storing the players variables uh, the position variables and the, the cats position variables and then just moving it uh, one step towards the player each update uh, and that's basically how we're going to do the attack as well we'll just check to see if the um, the cat is uh, on the you know is in the position in order to attack so I'll just start by showing you how to do the first one and then the rest I just basically copy and paste and change the variables. So to start we'll have a group and we'll call it attack left. Attack left and basically we just want to want to have a if variable compare with variable and we want to just say is actor uh, y I think Wait, so we're attacking, if the player is going to be on the left of the cat, uh, the x value will be uh, different, but the y value will be the same. So we want to say, is the actor's y value equal to the player's y value? And if it is, we can first of all, we can disable else, because you don't need that. Uh, and if it is, we then want to check Actually, first we want to do is um, we want to create a basically like a temporary variable here, uh, but I'll just do it in the local. And what this one will do is add or minus two to the to the cat's current um, um, position, so that we can so that we can check to see if the player is in that position instead. And if it is plus I mean minus two in this uh, circumstance. If the if the player is two away from the cat, if I show you one two, um, then we know that the player is there and they should be attacking. Okay, so now that we've checked that the player um, is on the same y coordinate as the player, we can now move on to the x coordinate. Um, so what we want to do is we want to set up a math function to basically take the actor's position and then plus or minus two to check that the player is in uh, the position directly next to this actor so that the cat knows whether or not it should attack. So we want to set a new variable. I'll call mine uh, player our actor, this is just a local variable by the way, I'll call it actor x um, attack check uh, so that we can check you know whether or not the actor should be attacking based on the uh, coordinate of the x-axis. So we want to set this to the uh, variable of actor x and we want to be we want to have another math function and we want to take that one we just created and we want to subtract a value of 2. And what this means is that it's checking whether or not the player is 2 over from this cat. Um, and if it is, then we want to have another check for that. So if the variable is um, the same as the player's x axis, then we know that we need to attack. So we'll disable else and we'll say um, we want to set the direction of the actor because the direction is what controls the uh, the way that the projectile is fired. Um, so if we set the direction to the left and then we want to attack and that's just a built-in thing. 
and we can set the collide with to free the collision group i'll uh, make sure it collides with the player uh, and then we can have a weight as well so that it isn't just repeatedly happening and uh yes so now we can we can press run and we can test it see if it works okay so here we are and look the uh the cat still chases us and when it gets within um well when it's right next to us it attacks us which is exactly what we want um obviously we could use a different sprite to show that it's attacking and it only currently attacks us from the uh from when we're on the left of it because we, that's all we've done so far so i'll just show you and there we go so what we need to do now is make sure that the attacking is working in all directions and also have it so when it attacks it does whatever we want it to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy these and i'm going to change the values i'll rename them so that we can keep track of, the, of them so attack right it's the same as this, but instead of subtracting two, we want to add two, and we want to set the direction to face them the other way. Simple as that. So for a attack up, um, we need to make it so it's actually the opposite values now. So instead of actor Y, it's actor X. Instead of player Y, it's player X. And we can we can leave this um, thing here, but we can call it actor x y attack check. And we can instead of actor x, we can have actor y and player y. Um, if we're attacking up, then it, it's still subtract. Uh, but we just want to make sure we're attacking up. Simple as that. And then attack down rename it uh, we want to leave everything as it is because we were we did the correct one but we just want to add to and change it to down simple as that what i'm also going to do is i'm going to put in another store um i'm going to store the variables again after um we've moved so that it's a more accurate um, and quicker it attacks basically I want the uh, if you'd notice the once it moves and then it checks the uh, it's still using these old variables that we set before um, so there is an update like a one update delay because of that so by putting these in it means that the cat doesn't uh, have like a lag basically as soon as it's moved it's resets it so that it knows exactly where the player and you are and it is so it can attack better. Um, we can still see that when the player hits it, it uh, makes a sound and hides it. I'm just going to take off the sound so that uh, it doesn't interfere with my voice. Um, and uh, currently when the player hits into the cat, or when the cat walks on the person or whatever, it makes the player get hidden and weighted and then showed and then wait like it so basically flashes and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take i'm going to put all of this in a group and i'm going to take it off of this hit and i'm going to change it to when the player is hit by the attack um so here we go i copied it and i'm deleting it and then on player hit on group three i can now i put this here and it now makes it so the player flashes when it's hit and the cat when i shoot at it will get hit and uh, disappear uh here it is so i can run away from all directions obviously and then the cat attacks with a wait time of 0 0.5 and obviously i can attack it if i can get it right and then it dies so now if i duplicate that um around the map we can show you what it looks like when they're all chasing. OK, 
Okay, let's collect as many as we can. And you can see now that they're all trying to uh, chase me down. And when they get to me, they're actually hurting me. They're making me flash. And this is exactly uh, how you'd want to do it. And obviously you can have different enemies have different uh, attack speeds and you can make them attack with long distance shots instead. Um, and all it is is checking where the player is and uh, updating the uh, values accordingly to, to know which way to attack. So I can also still attack them and boom. So now we have uh, enemies that actually attack back. Uh, they follow us. They can, they're basically like zombies and we can attack them. So I really hope this was uh, useful guys. If it was, please leave a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, leave a comment below if you have any ideas for future videos. And uh, thanks for watching.